Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I'm the creator of the Divi Social Sharing Buttons plugin, and today I'm excited to announce an important update, version 2.2. So be sure to watch this. There are some very important changes that you need to know about and some new features. So let's take a look. So I'll be following along with the blog post here, so you can click the link in the description if you're watching on YouTube to click over here. Now we note here about there's some important changes and that's um, with the social sh custom sharing. Um, custom sharing is when you, you use something other than the post or page title, you know, you have your own title that shares or your own link that shares or your own featured image or your own description. So that's what custom sharing is. And that's what we're gonna be talking a lot about. That's the important part. But first I wanna talk about um, something related to this but a new feature is dynamic content so you can see from the screenshots already we've added the dynamic content icon to any of the custom sharing options so that just means that I can use a custom field and then connect the, the module to that custom field so let me just show you so if I was in here let's say I open up this network and the sharing options and let's say instead of the post title I want to use custom title now I could actually select this dynamic content icon and then choose some field which I didn't even set up for the the video but you get the idea so there's whatever the title is in the custom field is what would share and the same you know would go for all of these things even you know the image even you can click that and choose an image um, the link choose custom link there's the same thing and also for the, the custom text there same thing all right so that's an exciting new feature of uh, just being able to to use that and um, with the custom field dynamic content all right we're also excited to announce that we now have open graph metadata in our plugin as an option now it's not on by default we've added a new option to enable this now before, you would rely on SEO plugins, and by all means, an SEO plugin is highly recommended and should be the first choice. But believe it or not, we had some customers who were confused and they said, you know, we're not using an SEO plugin. Um, why aren't some of your features working the way we expect? And it's because there's no open graph meta. That's what the social platforms require. Um, we were just assuming that everyone has an SEO plugin and we didn't want to have duplicate uh, features and, and code and all of that stuff. So what we've done is we, in the theme options, let me show you that. So right here we've added this new tab, Adobe Social Sharing Buttons, and now you can enable this, all right? So enable open graph meta tags. Here's the little help text. Now it says do not enable this feature if you already are using an SEO plugin that includes open graph meta tags. Basically, if you're not using an SEO plugin, now you can enable this for the open graph meta, which is required, again, by the social platforms. Now, here's the big thing, the custom sharing changes. Now, in version 2.0, we introduced a feature that is just groundbreaking and no one else has it. It's not available in any WordPress plugin, these custom sharing options, like sharing something other than the post, title, excerpt, image and link okay now that was possible because we were actually taking those custom items and adding them to a PHP file and then it, that's in the database and then when you share it it pulls that data from the database and that was placed in the root directory now that's a little technical but let me just quickly go over this so you probably already saw, we added this new enable custom sharing setting right here. Now this is very important. In the past, in versions before 2.2, we automatically tried to add the file that's needed for this to your website's root directory, okay? And, we, and the, all of this is explained in the writing, so please take a look at this. In fact, here it really goes into detail, all right? Again, we, we did this automatically, but there was a couple problems. Some hosting providers blocked it and said, hey, don't, don't add this automatically. 
And so we gave instructions. Well, here's how you can do it manually. You just take the file and place it in your, in your folder. Some hosting providers are saying, no, we don't even want to allow that. And they, I don't know why. They just don't allow it. So, okay, there's nothing we can do except honor that and say, okay, but we, we need that because that's what's used to store this custom data in the database. The reason it's at the root level is so that when you share, the domain path looks half decent because otherwise it's going to have all this extra data in the path of the URL. And so that's why we wanted to put it in the root directory. So we will continue to do that if you enable this setting. So again, when you update to 2.2, you will not have custom sharing until you turn this on. So please, if you are using the custom sharing options like this, custom text like this, or you know the custom link option or the image besides what's normal you know default in that post you know it's not the post title but it's the custom title if you're using any of that when you update the 2.2 you must come in here and enable this so when you enable that what it tries to do is add that file to the root directory because that is the best place for it if it cannot if your hosting provider just does not allow that we will do the second best option and we will add it to the WP content directory. And again, it's, it's fine. It does the same function, but when you're trying to share it, when you see the preview, when you're sharing like on Twitter, certain platforms have this preview. Um, it just, it's going to look a lot better if it can be in the root. It's just a limitation of how everything works. It's nothing specific to us. We're just trying to do the best thing and we were realizing that the hosting companies weren't letting us do the best thing. So we had to come up with the second best option, um, which is this change. So sorry we had to do this, but it was becoming a problem with more and more people. So we had to take this action and re rewrite everything. So you can read all this about how it works, um, get familiar with it. But that's really the main thing. Um, that's the most important things we had to cover. Custom sharing changes, the open graph meta tags, it's new and the dynamic content support that's new. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed using this plugin and all of our plugins. Be sure to check those out. We have, uh, I think, uh, 10 or 11 plugins at the time of this recording. We appreciate you sticking with us through these kind of changes, something that's absolutely required. We wouldn't do that if it wasn't required. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is for the betterment of everyone as we move forward. All right, we'll see you all in our next video.